Hi everybody, this is Ann Emery. Today I'm here to tell you about the American Evaluation Association's Data Visualization and Reporting Topical Interest Group, or DVR-TIG for short. The American Evaluation Association is a professional society for evaluators. We've got about 8,000 members. AEA has 48 different topical interest groups. Groups specialize in everything from quantitative and qualitative methods to advocacy evaluation. Groups lead a variety of activities like sponsoring webinars and conference presentations, curating blog posts on AEA365.org, and some even have their own websites. The DVR TIG is near and dear to my heart because I'm one of the group's leaders. Johanna Murariu and I serve as co-chairs, and Dave Shillard and David Mervis serve as program co-chairs. I wanted to learn more about the DVR TIG. How many members do we have, and who are these members? First, I went to AEA's website and I grabbed some membership data. I plotted out data for 2011 through 2014. Each of these different lines represents one of the groups. The biggest group is the Nonprofits and Foundations group with 1,290 members in 2014. The smallest group is the LGBT Issues group with 115 members in 2014. And right here in the middle is the DVR TIG with 821 current members. Next, I looked at basic demographic stats for the DVR TIG members. Three in four of our members are women. Most of us have a master's degree or higher. And 28 different countries are represented in the DVR TIG. Each of these circles represents one country. 87% of us are from the United States, no surprise there. 6% are from Canada. Australia, New Zealand, and South Africa are also represented with 1% of the membership each, as well as a lot more countries like Afghanistan and Argentina. DVR TIG members work in a variety of settings. One in three of our members works in a nonprofit. A quarter work in private businesses like evaluation consulting firms. Another quarter work in colleges and universities, most likely as professors or in university research centers. A smaller group of members works in federal, state, and local agencies, and the remaining 4% works in school systems. What about demographic patterns over time, comparisons to other topical interest groups, or comparisons to AEA as a whole? I'm not sure. This is just the first step in the analysis. If you dig deeper into the data, please let me know. I look forward to seeing what you find. Thank you.